Good morning. It is day. I have no idea. 77. What? 97. 97. Almost been out here for a hundred days. Dear God, what have I become? Um, today <clears throat> we are hiking like 17, 18 miles, I think 18, to some gap. I really have a lot of information for you. Uh, Lehigh River? Hi, huh? Lehigh River? Lehigh River Gap, where Photo's parents will be there to pick us up. We're gonna go eat a whole bunch of fast food, be really lazy hikers for the next two days, all in honor of America. And our bodies. And our bodies. Um, I can't wait to get today over with because there's, I just hate the rocks and I hate the state. I've said it like 20 times, but I'm just going to be honest again and tell you, I can't stand it. Um, and then, oh yeah, rained yesterday and then rained during the night. No issues with the tent so far. It didn't rain hard enough. Anyway, it's for us to really tell, but it seems to do okay. And that's all we got going on. We're meeting Steve, our trail angel, in a few miles to pick up the rest of our resupply. And that's about all that's going on this morning. It's flat right now. No rocks, but that's going to change. All right, real quick, um, a couple of people have reached out and left comments on our, uh, on YouTube videos recently saying that they wanted to help and, you know, they saw we were coming into a certain area, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you leave a comment and, and tell me you want to help, I have no way of getting in touch with you. I, there's, so, and I can't keep track of all that. I mean, I have... A lot going on <laughs> so if you would uh, our email address is listed in the description box below each video and I'll say it on here it's Amy and John on the AT at gmail.com and uh, if you just send me an email let me know where you're located and um, you know, when you can help us or whatever. Uh, that would be great. No, I don't want to get sick here at the ball game. Right. I don't want to have to run to the bathroom. Yeah. So we're here, we're here with Steve. He's doing a, giving us trail magic. Again. Again. He's done it many Say times. Say hi, Steve. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Our packs are very heavy now. We have honey buns for weeks. Handing off the baton to your parents. Yeah. We have he brought us subs, chips, water, cokes. What else? The honey buns, our food, our resupply. We got all the cold water we could ever want. He shuttled us around. He the other shuttled day. us around the other day. Got us to pick up or took us to pick up our tent. Mm -hmm. We stayed in his house. It was very nice. Yeah. Him and his wife. Yep. Everything was great. Mm -hmm. Dinner was good. Dinner was great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate everything. We got this kid stealing water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just left Steve. Just got back on trail. We um, just want to thank him for everything that he did for us. He took care of us for the past several days um, from letting us stay at his house to uh, picking us up from the trailhead and taking Girl, us to the flexing. mailbox. Nobody can see my muscles. Guns um, uh, taking us by fast food restaurants um, and today bringing us uh, breakfast and the rest of our resupply <clears throat> and also surprising us with um, subs for lunch. So this guy literally went out of his way to help us out and we really really appreciate it um everybody 
that has reached out to us and helped us has been so nice and um, we are gonna be forever grateful for it. Made our hike uh, a lot easier and we're just uh, grateful to have met such awesome people along the way. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, John's not very good with words. Um, <laughs> well, I just don't talk a lot, you know? Oh, God. But, if you want to hear me talk, let's talk. No, if you want to talk, you got to hold the phone. Oh, never mind. You guys Lord are going to hear knows, me talk. Lord knows he'll talk forever. But just real quick, then. <laughs> Steve is like an above and beyond kind of person. Like you ask him for tap water, he brings you Fiji and Voss, so to speak. <laughs> you ask the guy for a slice of bread, he brings you subs. Like that's the kind of person he is. Whatever you expect, he surpasses it by many levels. Yeah. It's just the kind of person he is. You yeah. ask him to be here at eight, he's there at seven. Right. Definitely an awesome guy. We're very thankful for him. That was my quick talk. Yeah. <laughs> so on another note, we have the knife's edge coming up. That doesn't sound very appealing, does it? Except I love knives. Well, yeah, John loves knives. I don't like to walk over knives, so I'm not really sure what this is going to be about, but I'm a little nervous. Coming up on a nice edge, but right now, and I'm bringing y'all along. If I get hurt trying to record this, send me lots of food. See the blazes. But these rocks are bone dry. With what? You just come straight this way. See where that skinny rock is? I stepped on a skinny rock. Here? Yeah. Oh, God. There we go. Just like that. Do you want me to carry your trekking poles? Or strap it to my bag? So you can hold on to things? Look at that view. Oh, yeah. That's what Pennsylvania is all about. Look at this guy cutting the trail. <laughs> Just crushing knife's edge. Yeah, this would suck when it, if it was wet. <laughs> yeah. That would this would be the worst. I don't think you could do it wet. Well, I guess you just have to prepare to fly. Yeah. Notice how slow I'm moving the camera? It's because of the viewers. I mentioned one time I'm moving too fast because I would do it like this. 
from more than one time. Well, they're making it better. What are you guys having for lunch? Italian subs from Steve. Steve's eating stuff from Steve. Mm 